Hey, Casey, good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, was there ever, I know going into UFA, it's it can be weird. Was there ever any doubt in your mind you would be back? And, and how important to you was the longer term of the deal, the getting this the six years? Uh, no, there was, there's no doubt. Um, Long Island's my home and it'll always be my home. Um, there was nowhere else I wanted to be. And uh, like you said, I want, I want to retire an Islander. That's my goal. And that, that's something that I'm, I'm going to be really proud of uh, when that day comes. But uh, the way it worked out, it worked out well. And um, like I said, uh, you know, I'm an Islander and through it, with, with the, through all the good times and all the bad times, it's, it's exciting what we're doing right now. And uh, going forward, we, we have one, one hell of a team and, and it's, uh, we're gearing up for another big year. Arthur Staple, the athletic. Casey, um, you know, you see some of the, the contracts that guys who play similar roles to you got around the league, you know, was it tempting at all when you see that, you know, when you get close to free agency, sometimes I'm sure, you know, from, from guys that have gone through it, that you, you do just want to see what's out there or were you just determined to make sure that you stayed and, and not really worry about anything else? No, I was, I was determined to stay. Um, I didn't really focus on what else was happening out there. Um, what guys were signing for. I, I wanted to be an Islander and, and we made that happen. What are they? And just, you know, seeing the, the, the other deals that were announced, and obviously I assume those have been in the hopper for a while, and, and then your, you know, the, the team, the contacts you've had with your teammates, how important was it for everybody to kind of come back after the way, you know, how close you got last year and, and try to keep as many of you guys together as possible? I think that was huge. Um, you know, we have a lot of unfinished business and, uh, you know, the way that the season ended wasn't ideal, uh, but we know we have more, we know we can go farther. And ultimately we want to do this at, with, with the same group. Uh, you know, it's not always easy keeping everybody, but Lou did a really good job of, of bringing back as, as many of us as possible. So uh, going into the season, like I said before, it's exciting. We have, uh, we have big shoes to fill and, and we're ready for uh, the challenge ahead. Brian Compton, NHL.com. Hey, Casey, congratulations. I know you guys don't really care about what people on the outside say about you guys, but do you feel like the perception of the organization has changed these past couple of years? It just seems like when guys get there, they don't want to leave now. Thank you. Yeah, that, that just shows how, how close of a group we are. Um, a lot of us have played together for a long time and um, we had some, some low points as, as a group and, you know, we, we, we started building, we started, uh, you know, believing in one another. And, uh, when Lou and Trotsky and, and everyone came in, we, we took that next step forward as, uh, not only individuals, but, but as a team and you can see where the success has taken us so far. So we want to continue, uh, seeing that through and eventually win a Stanley cup together. Christian Arnold, New York copy now. Casey, congratulations on the new deal. As far as the summer has gone, what has this experience been like for you? And, um, you know, how much did it, it weigh on your mind as, as the negotiations went on? Uh, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous uh, at the start. Um, you know, when the season ended, you know, that, that was heartbreaking. Uh, and then you kind of have a little bit of a lull period. And then, you know, it starts getting close to that, that date. And, you don't necessarily know what's going to happen, um, but it, it didn't take long for us to, to figure out, um, you know, what, what was going to happen. So, uh, you know, the talks between, uh, you know, myself, my agent and Lou went, went really well. And uh, we were able to uh, come together and keep this thing. Like I said before, I, I don't want to be anywhere but the island. And, you know, this is going to be my home for the rest of my life. Kevin Martin, who's 12. Casey, congrats. Uh, you know, we hear a lot about core guys, right? And you've always been important. Do you think this deal now vaults you into that next level where you're considered a core guy here? Uh, I think it might vault me into, you know, eventually being one of the old guys, no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if you're old, what are some of us then? Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, like I said before, a lot of us have been together for a long time. Um, you know, I... I you know, you look at the guy like guys like Barzy, Bo. Um, you know, they're they're considered the core guys and are part of that core group, and they they haven't um, you know they 
they've been here for, you know, four years, uh, five years. And you look at Bales who's been here for 13. Um, Marty, you know, he's been here for, you know, better part of 11 and uh, 11 or 12. So it's, uh, I'm going in to my, my 10th year here. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of us that have, have been together uh, for multiple, multiple years. And like I said before, this is the group that we want to win with. And, you know, we believe in, in each other that we can do that. Back to Andrew Gross, Newsday. In case, just uh, regarding the summer, I know it's a, a much shorter summer than, you know, you usually get, you know, how do you think you're feeling and, you know, some of your teammates are feeling and, and what are the emotions knowing that you have 82 games ahead of you? You haven't played an 82 game season now, you know, it's been two seasons where you haven't gotten to 82. Yeah, it's, you know, that it, there's different uh, challenges that are going to arise uh, throughout this year for sure. Um, but we have a veteran group. We have a lot of guys that have played a lot of games in, in this league. So uh, we're going to be ready for whatever's thrown at us. And um, going into the season, I know it's been a shortened summer, but the way the last two seasons ended for us, you know, that just builds fire in you. That just makes you want to, um, you know, get faster, get stronger. Um, it, it just gives you that little bit of oomph in the summer where you're like, we're, we're close, we're, we're getting there. And you want to, you, you know, you want to do that extra rep. You want to do that extra bag skate. You want to do all these little extra things because you know how close you are and you just want to keep pushing and pushing. Uh, like I said before, and, until you eventually, you know, host the, the or host the, the Stanley Cup. Go Pantorno, AM New York. Hey, Casey, congratulations. Uh, I was just wondering if you've talked to uh, Matt or Cal yet since your deal's been hammered out and uh, if they've said anything to you about this and, and moving forward together. Yeah, they were, uh, you know, there, but besides my, my family, uh, um, you know, they were the first two I called, uh, you know, who we've been together for a long time and, you know, they're two of my closest friends on the team. So uh, they were the first guys uh, that I called outside of my family. Back to Christian Arnold, New York Hockey now. Just Casey, just looking back ahead to the season, um, you know, with the first you know, month or so on the road, have you kind of wrapped your head around that yet and, and how to kind of prepare for that mentally and physically something that you guys are not really used to? Uh, it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, it's just going to create that build up to, you know, the first game, uh, that first home game. Uh, so, but we're, we're going to take care of business. We're, you know, we're going to have a good training camp. We're going to go into the into the season, you know, with that, that game by game mentality, we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves and uh, just, just keep working. And then, you know, when that first home game comes, it's, uh, it's going to be electric. Last one here, Peter Schwartz. Hey Casey, congratulations on the new deal. Um, following up on like the change in the perception of the franchise and, and everything that's happened over the last few years. I mean, how much of it do you think is attributed to the fact that uh, the team once again planted its roots on Long Island and everybody knew where this team was going to be from coming back to the Coliseum to now opening up the new building? How much of that do you think changed the perception? And and did it play a role in, in you deciding to resign? It, it's definitely massive that, you know, you know, Belmont's it's beautiful. Uh, you know, you, you, you see what they've done over, over the past, um, little bit and, and you're seeing pictures, you're seeing walkthroughs. It's the, the arena itself is, is unbelievable. And, um, to keep it on the Island, to keep it close to everybody, I think that makes a huge difference. Uh, you know, Brook, Brooklyn was, was fun. Uh, it, it just wasn't ideal, but this is our home and, you know, this is something that, you know, you can get behind this, something that you can be excited about and, like you said, it's the way this organization has changed, you know, guys, um, you know, wanting to stay, guys wanting to come back and play. It just shows, uh, like I said before, how close of a group we are and how much we mean to each other. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing, especially for me, uh, you know, going through this period was, you know, I didn't want to play with anybody but these guys. These guys are my family. I've created a lot of friendships and uh, friendships that will last a long, a lifetime. So, uh like I said before, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna die an Islander. Uh, that's the way to put it.